our most anticipated video of the year. We have gotten so many comments from you guys requesting that we do our top 10 RC planes of the year. So I say we get to it. But first you need to know everything on this list is linked down in the description box. We have flown planes more than anything else on the channel this year and I have gotten so much flight time on my planes. I'm basically just picking some of my top favorite things, same with Abby. And if they were on our top beginner planes list, they're not gonna be included in this one. Our beginner plane list will be linked in the description box. Plus it'll be at the end of this video if you want to watch that too. This list was so hard to make, but super fun. Let's get to it. Number 10 on our list is the E-Flight Ultimate 3D biplane. This is a pretty awesome airplane, guys. It was flown just a few times on our channel, not enough, but I always have a blast while I'm flying it. It looks like it would be an intimidating airplane to fly. I flew it though. That's right. <laughs> it's not that hard to fly. When you have it in safe mode, it flies a lot like a very intermediate to almost beginner-friendly airplane, but when you take it out of safe, that thing will snap like crazy. And for a simple style biplane where it uses one servo for both ailerons on the wing with a push rod to control both of those aileron control surfaces it's just a really unique setup a very budget friendly way to try flying a biplane and it just is beautiful in the air abby don't we love that checkered pattern on the bottom of the wing oh all planes should look like that on the bottom it looks really good but it flies even better and i always have a good time when that thing's in the air Popeye wants to tell you number nine on our list is the Aeros SZD54 glider. This is such a unique glider, you guys. It is really huge, and for the price, I think it's one of the biggest airplanes you can pick up for the money. It is very unique with the wheels in the center of the fuselage making touch and goes on a folding prop glider pretty easy to do with a little bit of practice. I also love the glide authority on this thing. It will soar for hours if you want it to on a $15 battery. You can catch thermals, you can go slope soaring, but even on a windy day, this thing performs extremely well. It'll kite awesome. If you turn the flaps on, you can go zero throttle and just kite that thing, but it's powerful enough and fast enough to really cut through wind as well. For gliders, it's one of the most well-rounded and probably one of the most budget-friendly gliders and high-performance gliders I've ever had my hands on. I just got it this year, and every time I fly it, I'm always extremely impressed, but it's also a very relaxing plane to fly. <laughs> Number eight on our list is the E-Flight Falkwolf FW190. So the reason this is a little bit lower on the list, keeping in mind that it still made the list, is because of the way it lands. That is one of the most challenging planes <laughs> to land I've ever come across. Some guys say it's because of the way the wheels don't really necessarily bow out a little bit more but I think that's just the way these things operated in real life too. Uh, it's a challenge to land, but when it's in the air, it's, a, it's just a dream to fly. If you want to scale large foam warbird, this thing flies true to scale. You're not gonna pull off any snap rolls or anything. It just looks really scale in the air. A couple guys out there gave it a hard time with the paint job too, but I think it looks really good. Uh, I think it's just because of its size, you can really see that attention to detail, or lack thereof, and it's all really opinion based on how it looks, but I gotta say, when that prop is spinning, and you've taken off, and you're in the air, and those retracts are up, this thing is just beautiful. You just gotta brace yourself and get ready for that challenging landing. So that's why this is number eight on the list. Now remember, I know we're flying through these a little bit fast. If you guys want to see more depth and detail about all these, buy the link down in the description box where we have all these. We'll also link one of our videos, keeping in mind that we actually have a handful of videos for each one of these. So if you're interested to learn more, type in YouTube, the RC Sailors, or just RC Sailors, and the name of the airplane and our list of videos will come up. Number seven on the list is actually our smallest plane on the entire list. It's one of my favorites, the Ultrix 600. This is so mind-blowingly crazy fun to fly. You can go out and keep it in safe and do these insane flat spins, making yourself look like a pro when really it's doing all the hard work. But also it flies extremely easy and tame like a trainer because of safe if you want it to. Plus you can get a light kit to put on the front of the plane and it makes it an amazing looking night plane. You can really blow your neighbor's minds making them think that the <laughs> UFOs are really coming to get them. It really does look like a flying UFO, especially at like 
Extreme Sunset with that light kit. It's like $30, it's really easy to install. You get long flight times and it's a, it's a cheap little plane that comes completely put together in a box. You open it like a pizza box and boom, you're flying. Number six on the list is the Top RC Hobby Riot. <laughs> this came out of left field. I had no <laughs> idea what to expect with this plane and it really, you would think, shouldn't belong on this list at all. Something that's like overseas, just completely not a good name brand or anything, blew my mind at how well it performed. I flew this plane on its maiden flight inverted longer than any plane I've probably ever flown and that includes with like my knife edge challenge. This thing just flew, and there's no safe or anything. There's no flight stabilization. It's just raw, pure flying, but it was just so perfect. I mean, I felt like I could knife edge it, fly inverted, do whatever I wanted with this thing on a simple 3S battery. It had the performance and, and it was pretty cheap. Uh, they sold out of these in like a day after people saw our video and luckily they're back in stock now. This thing is just, like if you want to treat yourself to a random surprise, this should be that plane for you. Uh, it's linked below. You just got to watch our video on this thing to know what I'm talking about. The fifth plane on our list is the E-Flight RV7. Okay, this has got to get like a special award of its own as the most well-rounded plane, especially released in 2021. Now, going into 2022, this is still an extremely strong contender to pick up. If you're looking for like probably the world's best second airplane, but still could be your first trainer if you had some help, this is it. I was amazed by how like stable this flew. It'll fly on 3S or 4S batteries in safe. It's absolutely a trainer. It's very true to scale the way it flies and looks. And I talk about this all the time, but we went to an air show and saw this thing perform. And these guys are doing the stuff that it's I'm doing. It's actually an RV6. That, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but these guys in real life are doing what we show the, the RC plane doing. It just is one of the most scale looking, beautiful airplanes that I've seen. It's very durable, very forgiving, very beginner friendly. It'll take some bouncy landings. It taxis extremely well. And if you've never had a plane that's uh, in, in an underwing style like this, this would be an absolutely perfect one to try. And if you want to progress your skills, this is the one to pick up. You ready? <laughs> yeah, Popeye just some love. You Come got on, them all riled up now. That's okay. That's if you guys good. hear noises and stuff, it's just Popeye. <laughs> Number four, yeah? Number four on the list is the E-Flight F-16 Falcon. I mean, I've been progressing on jets uh, over the last couple of years, EDF jets, and I've had a good handful under my belt. I mean, quite a few. And th this was a really hard choice. I mean, I really wanted to put a few others on this list too, but I had to just pick my favorite like big foam EDF and this is it. The landing gear on this thing, just beautiful. When it's in the air, beautiful. I feel like I'm flying in a Top Gun movie every time I put this in the air. It sounds amazing. Abby always says it looks amazing. <laughs> it is just something to like dream about. And it's, it, when I fly it, I feel like I'm living the dream. I mean, it's just awesome. I, I don't think this would be like the best applicable airplane for everybody out there, but with like where we fly, the progression that I've had on jets, this is just like my happy zone when I'm flying this thing. So if I want to be at my most happy level, flying adrenaline pumping like crazy, an EDF, this is it for me. I'm not saying that would be the best one for everybody, but I know a couple other guys that have one too, and they also absolutely love it. It's a treat. This is like, you get to fly this, you have just treated yourself. I'm not offended at all. <laughs> that you don't fly it, that you haven't flown it? No, I'm not you you're talking about this airplane. This no. <laughs> I mean, life with you is a treat I too. I think I'm jealous of the jet. <laughs> Number three on the list is the Aeros Bay, I mean, B-A-E Hawk. Yeah, no offense, man, we're just kind of joking because the first time we flew this, we called it the Bay Hawk. We just had, I had no idea. Uh, you know, you make mistakes, but this is the B-A-E Hawk. Uh, the reason I love this is not because like, keeping in mind, it just came right after that amazingly high performance jet. I actually ranked this a little higher because of its price point and 
ease of access to everyone else. Like I just said, the 80 millimeter Falcon might not be the best jet for everybody, but this thing, you can literally fly it in five foot tall uh, fields, you know, when the grass is super, super high because it doesn't have landing gear that could break. You can, you hand launch this every time you land it in grass every time. And it comes with this awesome flight stabilization system that just works. You just hook it up to whatever receiver you're flying with and it absolutely works. It flies on a 3S battery. It's like a high performance, budget friendly, um, intermediate or maybe even beginner level jet. And I love the bright red look to it. It's easy to see. If you're gonna fly something small and it's semi-fast, to have a bright color is very easy to see. There's just a lot of reasons to love this thing. Every time I've been out flying this, and it's just a, it's a brand new release, I really have a good time flying it. If you think maybe you don't like that bright red look, there's also a completely different looking uh, small jet that's called the T-33. Now I haven't flown that on the channel yet, but I intend to soon. And so that's in the same price range, the same design, and everything so that that is absolutely worth a look we flew it in crazy wind too and it performed extremely well i can't wait for you guys to see more of this on the channel number two on the list now this is where it got really easy for me guys <laughs> I, i've had these like solidified the entire year is the e-flight viper 90 millimeter or 70 millimeter so i kind of sneak that one in there because it just really depends what your budget is where you're flying and maybe your skills skill level but the viper 90 millimeter let's talk about that one specifically because i got that one after the 70. i have a really strong love for my 70 millimeter that's why i kind of had to sneak it in there but the 90 millimeter is the highest performance edf that i've ever flown it does everything i want it to do it sounds amazing it looks amazing it's bright colors I have not talked to anybody out there, no one in the comments even, has ever disagreed with me about that being the best performance EDF on the market right now. Whatever E-Flight did, whatever magic they included in this plane is just perfection. Finally, we can say something, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's as close to perfect as it gets right now. Um, I've seen a just a ton of people pick this thing up and love it and the wait list to get them continues. This is one of those things that's been out long enough that you would think that the uh, back orders should be caught up, but they're not and they're not for a reason. Hobby shops still drool over getting these in stock. People still drool over getting to fly it for the very first time. And there is a strong absolute reason for that. It is just sheer performance. I love it. I think it's roll rate. It's snap roll rate, it's climb, it's flight envelope, it's predictableness is all better than the 70 millimeter. Um, if you've ever flown the 70 millimeter, whatever you love about that is amplified on the 90 and whatever you don't like about the 70 is just eliminated on the 90 millimeter. I absolutely love this jet and I am very proud to say that it is number two on the list for our top planes this year. Number one on the list is the E-Flight Turbo Timber Evolution. I think that's easy too, just like a no-brainer. No I mean, it's just a really, really, really good plane that's just been made even better. I think one of the biggest things that they did with this is just putting the battery hatch on the top. <laughs> it sounds so small, but it's such a big deal. They already had an amazing, I mean, it started with the Turbo Timber, so the Timber, then the Turbo Timber, they have the UMX Timber, the UMX Turbo Timber, now they have the Turbo Timber Evolution. They also have the Night Timber X. I had a really funny TikTok video, but we never got around to making it. And also I the really Timber X. not making it. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane, but there's a reason they do that. What The reason they keep making it and making it better or changing it is because it's already an awesome plane. It's already probably for them an awesome selling plane. So they just make it better. So they sell more of it. This is the best version of that plane that exists now. If you, and the reason this is above like the Viper 90 millimeter. Okay, so when I fly this, I actually think personally I get a little more enjoyment when I fly the Viper 90 millimeter, but that's just me. So when I make this list, I'm also considering people that watch our videos. And I think that this plane, the Turbo Timber Evolution, is just more accessible to more people. It is an amazing trainer, it looks good, but it's also just tons of progression to be had with this airplane. If you fly planes, you should own this. I mean, that, that's as simple as it gets. It's got massive wheels, so it does wonderful at grass 
takeoffs and landings, but also asphalt, gravel, dirt, wherever you're wherever you're flying. This is perfect for it'll it flies in a small space or a large space. You can own the sky with this. Abby, I even flew the uh, turbo timber non-evolution with my three minute knife edge challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've just progressed on this plane a lot through the years, but now it just continues to get better. So if you've never owned a timber of any kind and you just want to go out of the gate with the best of the best, just get in line for the turbo timber evolution. Simple as that. I mean, if you just want to have a good time flying an amazing plane, you don't want to do a lot of research, you don't want to look around for you know 30 different planes and compare them all on youtube just take my word for it just go get yourself if you're ready to go like just all out and have an amazing airplane and an amazing experience get the turbo timber evolution da -da -da, da -da -da. now it's time for the lightning round because my husband is a plane addict and has way too many and had a huge list nate you have 10 seconds to talk about each of your honorable mention <laughs> oh, man. planes are you ready i guess so <laughs> All right, first on the list is the Twin Otter. The Twin Otter is amazing. It flies on water or land. Okay, that was two seconds. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> or snow. <laughs> um, this was on my list, but I'm going to let you talk about it. And uh, it kind of was on the beginner list. The Habu SS. Uh, everybody's first success jet ever. A really good trainer. Easy to see. Durable landing gear. E-Flight Conchendo. E-Flight Conchendo was going to be higher on the list, but Abby said I couldn't do it because it was on the list last year. It's still one of my top 10 favorite airplanes. I love it. I will always have one. Conchendo. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a few planes that we wanted to put on the Wait, list. Wait, I have one more. Oh, there's another. Yeah, last one. Are you ready? Yes. T-28 Trojan, E-Flight. <laughs> okay, it's bright yellow. It's easy to see. It's a good first warbird. I love it. It's my favorite word. <laughs> Those are our honorable mentions. There's a few on the beginner list that I really wanted to include on this yes. list too, but we just couldn't. But I have to say the Ishin Warbirds, okay, they're not just good beginner planes. They're fun yeah. too. Like they're really fun. And they're, they're getting this huge lineup of them now. So yeah. good for them. There's some other planes too, guys. And if I forgot one of my favorites, it's very possible. It's very possible. We may have a pinned comment that's like, oops, Nate forgot this. Again, everything will be linked down in the description box with a flight video. So make sure you open that, check it out. And uh, if you click one of those links, it helps support our channel and our family. And we really appreciate that. As far as us posting this video, guys, it should be the day after Christmas. Yep. So hopefully you guys had a really good Christmas. And if you got something really cool and, you know, I mean, Christmas, you know, there should be a lot of focus on every positive thing out there, but let's face it, I mean, things are probably put under the tree and we had fun exchanging gifts. So if you got something really cool or you gave something really cool, let us hear about it in the comments. Or maybe if you just did something really nice for people, uh, maybe you just went down to the, uh, volunteered your time on Christmas day or maybe like Christmas break, uh, maybe what you're planning to do. and. What are you looking forward to in 2022? Yeah, well, we've had an amazing year of RC planes, and we cannot wait to continue that for 2022. It's, it's been a blast. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe so you don't miss any of that content. And remember, we have other social medias too, and those are down in the description box. Abby's been killing it on TikTok. Thanks. 25,000 followers on TikTok. Yep. Without in, like just me doing stupid stuff. In less than a year stuff. so far. I just do really stupid things over there. I just, tell him to do stupid things over there. And we do it. <laughs> yeah, I do really stupid stuff over there. <laughs> So for an amazing year of planes and for that to continue, I just want to thank God because without him, we would not be able to bring this amazing content and just have each other's backs and just have fun with this hobby. So thank you, God. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys have had our backs like family for years now, a lot of you. And we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Sincerely, I, I just, you guys, you really are family to us, and, and I hope you understand that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, if you're a beginner and this list was fun and you're thinking, man, I'd like to fly some RC planes, we're gonna have our top five beginner RC plane video popping up right about now. It's definitely worth your time. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.